What's the best thing about leash, they'd ask. The road out of it, I'd answer, like I'd never heard the joke before. The only county that doesn't touch another county that touches the sea. Landlocked in leash, they'd laugh. There's so much they don't see. First to be colonised, first to fly free, first shot of the rising in 1916. The mental and prison standing on the very same road. Terror and trauma, humans interred, the demented, the broken, the brave, bad and bold. The poor soul I met on the Stradbilly Road, his internment story told of how he was signed in because there was not enough land for them both. And what of the woman who lost it because they stole her baby, thrown into Ireland's wasteland for the unwanted, the shame, the surplus to needs, the too hard to handle and their sinful deeds. What was her name? From home to home she roamed, her family nowhere to be found except her doll that she found on the ground, but could never let go. My dad, the prison guard, my own King of Leash, who we ran to with glee on his 4.15 break. He'd swing us around, joy all around. Little did we know, but we felt. Who was it that made us believe that our land was as flat as our accent, or that our culture status made us less than? Look at the urbanites now, yearning for country, living and land, all of us beginning to understand the power and force of place, home and land. The heart of Ireland, the great land that is our land, the Schlieve Bloom, Schlieve Blaume, the great mountain of flames where the great hero Fionn of the Fianna was born, raised and trained. Ireland's great warrior poet, pure, valiant and brave. He never died, they say. He sleeps and will awake again at a time of Ireland's great need. He will arise just as Joyce prophesied. Finn again is awake. The secret code in Finnegan's wake. The Irish Ulysses, our Leopold Bloom. Why was he called after the great Schlieve Bloom? What did they know, the writers of old? Standish O'Grady, the man who once told that the old Schlieve Bloom was once known as the Great Queen's Throne? Not that Queen. Our own Queen, our great sovereign land, who the High Kings married and strong they did stand. Ard Aaron, the height of Ireland, once the peak of Europe, just like in the Dark Ages, when Ireland had its Golden Age and Ireland's great rise halted civilization's demise. I went to the Rock of Dunamaze for something to do. It spoke to me in tongues and told me its secrets of old. Ions of oppression caused us to forget, but it was once known as one of the most powerful places on Earth. I felt its energy rise once more into my root and up through my core and in that moment I became Sheila Nagig, no need to cower with the leaf of a fig. Woman of Ireland, the source of its power, firmly rooted I could rise without limits, across the great central plains rose again the great mountain of flames. Rising to meet me, new life I could see. From the top of the mountain gushed a great flaming fountain. Call their names, the mountain roared, and I invoked with a deep guttural implore. Danu rising, Danu Abu, Boan rising, Boan Abu, Bridget rising, Bridget Abu. Yes, 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 said Molly Bloom. Imbus is rising, rising and free. Rising to meet me, new life I can see. So yes, landlocked in leash I may be, but with the flames in my spirit, like the great Fionn McCool, I fly free.